Welcome to the 2014 NAM show. You're watching Drum Smack here on T Radio V. We have a familiar face over here. <laughs> of course, that's the great Peter Erskine. How you doing, Peter? I'm doing great. Happy New Year. Happy NAM. Yeah. Hey, everybody. Happy New Year. So, tell us a little bit about what we're uh, what we're looking at here. What we're looking at here is, is a new kit. We call it the Frequent Flyer. Okay. And um, the first thing you, you'll notice uh, is that the bass drum has a uh, shorter depth than usual. Most bass drums will be 14 inch depth or nowadays 16, even 18 inch depth. This is, it's 12 by 20 and it's not 12 by 16 or 12 by 18. Uh, you know, I've, I've always liked the 18 inch bass drum size. We've experimented with different drum sizes for almost four years in coming up with this kit. This has been a long time in development and 12 by 20 won the day. Um, it's compact and yet it'll work for a small group, it'll work for a big band. I just came back from the big jazz conference in Dallas, Texas last week. Played a quartet gig, immediately after that played it with a big band. And the, the drums totally kicked the whole band, no problem. And so they'll take, take me wherever I want to go. Light, delicate, or big. Um, the rack tom is 8 by 12. Seems like you can't really improve on that size. The floor tom is 11 by 14. 11? And 11. Oh, and that's kind of an interesting size. Incredible projection. Uh, these, uh, the toms on the bass drum are all 8 ply. Slightly thicker plies than DW normally uses. Instead of 136 of an inch, each one is 132nd of an inch. So they're slightly thicker. The snare drum, same plies, but 10. So the same ply thickness. Uh, so a remarkably robust sounding snare drum, still really sensitive. Uh, American Maple, um, very lightweight hardware. Uh, DW hardware, uh, as we all know, it's heavy. It's sturdy, but it's, it's heavy as thickness. Part of this, this new kit announcement or introduction. Oh. Check this out. Unbelievable. Wow, that's super light, everybody. That's incredible. So I, I would take this is aluminum and then this is your standard steel. It's all aluminum. All aluminum. And just, you know, the, the goal was can we make a cymbal stand that's lighter than the old Ludwig? Okay. Flat base cymbal stand. And they've done it. Wow. And, and, you know, Don Lombardi mentioned that that was the goal. I didn't think it was possible, but he actually improved on the design of that stand. Wow. Um, so, a couple of things we were going for. One was that if you want to check these drums and fly with your kit, wherever you go, you can combine the two toms and snare drum in one case and still be under the 62-inch linear dimension limit imposed by the airlines. It, they also weigh less than 50 pounds, including the case. Same with the bass drum. You just saw the cymbal stands. You get a hardware bag. So if you're traveling with two, three other musicians, you can check your drums at no extra charge, fly everywhere with them. Wow. I'm talking hard cases. So uh, that was the first uh, uh, design impetus and, and what inspired the name Frequent Flyer. But this is also uh, a great idea to have as a second drum kit. You know, a lot of times I'll cobble together a, a rehearsal kit, sure. and, then, and then I'll borrow the bass drum pedal from my main kit because I like it. Yeah. And then I go out on a, on a real gig, oh man, I forgot my bass drum pedal or something. So this second kit for all drummers allows that sacred kit to remain sacred. And you have a second kit that you can use for gigs, rehearsals, anything. Even, you know, leave it set up in one place and then use it. Because we all run into that situation. These will fit in any car. Um, so, if, you know, you, you, you have a hybrid car, no problem. They, they, they fit in a Prius with room to spare. But I drive a Prius, so. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> um, street price of eleven ninety nine. Okay. And, you know, for a DW kit, that's... I'll try that later. <laughs> All right, everybody, you're watching Drum Smack. We're with Peter Erskine. Please stick around. We're going to take a quick break. 